Hi guys, I want to talk to you today about idolatry. And so I think a lot of times when people think about idolatry, they think about, you know, the Old Testament, and they think about, you know, uh, some image or something, you know, maybe even today they think of like Buddha and bowing down to an image. And, and I think for the most part, most of us think that's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, who would bow down and, and worship and make some metal image their god? So I think for the most part, we think idolatry is totally irrelevant for today. But I'm going to tell you, as a, as a uh, person who is a professional, maybe a successful business owner or a professional or someone who has a lot of ambition in life, you have to be very, very, very careful about idolatry even today in your life. And let me explain to you. In Exodus, it said that, that the Israelites had been in slavery for 300 years. So 300 years they were slaves, had nothing. And then God delivered them from slavery and set them free. So their dream was to be set free. Their dream was to be prosperous, to be their own nation. Well, not only did they get set free, but as they were leaving, the Egyptians actually, you know, took off their jewelry and gave them the jewelry and gave them, them gold and, 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 and blessed them even as they left. So, so they left with their freedom, all of their dreams, and they even left with, you know, prosperity. They even left with success and, and all this prosperity. Well, a few short months later, Moses goes up on top of the mountain and all of a sudden the people lose sight of God and the next thing you know they are building an image they're building an idol and if you think about it it says that they melted down their gold and their jewelry so what's funny is that same blessing as they were being as they had left Egypt the, those blessings and all of that prosperity that was given to them they took that blessing and what they did was they melted it down. So they took that gold, they took that jewelry, and they began to melt it down. And they melted down their blessings and turned it in and began to worship this metal. Now we think that's utterly ridiculous. Well, I would never do that. However, I'm going to tell you what. This happens all the time in Christian living. And what happens is you have a dream, you have a you have a desire, you have something that God's put on your heart. Maybe it's to have a great family. Maybe it's to, to have a great business or to get a new promotion. Whatever that is, you could literally be saying, God, if I, if I could just have children, and next thing you know, God blesses you and gives you a child, and all of a sudden, you make that child the idol of your life because all of a sudden, you're too busy for the things of God because you have a soccer game on Saturday or there's a soccer tournament or you, you've been praying for that new promotion or that your company would take off and all of a sudden you have success and, and you've been given a new promotion or you've been given this great success in your company and next thing you're doing is you're taking what God has given you as a blessing and all of a sudden that's replaced God in your life and you basically bow down and begin to worship that success of your life. Just like people will go and melt down jewelry and blessings and then worship this in the same way, people will trade their God for the success and the blessings of this life. God intended those as blessings. They're awesome. Enjoy them. But those blessings can never be your purpose. Those blessings can never replace God. The minute they do, they become an idol. In Exodus, it says that, it says that they worshipped, the, the Israelites worshipped worthless images and worthless idols and therefore became worthless themselves. That's not us. That can never be you. If you're going to be successful, awesome. Achieve success. Be prosperous. Be blessed. But never allow that to replace God in your life. Never allow that to become an idol. Hope that helps, guys. Be blessed. Have dominion until he comes back. Talk to you soon.